Hi everybody, this is Trish, also known as Nanatink Treasures. I'm very tired, it's been a long day, it's been a hard couple days, hard week, a uh, couple more hard days coming up, but I'm still going to be trying to get out some video content. I'm just sitting here relaxing, I want to show you a little bit of what I get to see in the evening when I do have time just to sit and relax. Hope you enjoy this as much as I do. Don't go away. Just sit here out my window, enjoy the beautiful, beautiful view that I have. Very fortunate to live where I live. That's what I get to see out my window, my front window. Don't know if you can see way over there, top of the mountain, there's about 20 windmills. They're way, way far off in the distance. I remember when we first moved here, there was none. None at all. And then we watched them being built one by one. One day somebody, next door neighbor was visiting and said, Hey, is that a windmill going up over there? And we looked and like, huh, Yeah, guess it is. A few years later, yeah, there's at least 20 of them over there. I don't benefit from them, but that's all right. Somebody is. Look at the sky tonight. And there's the best part. All those hummingbirds. They just love my tasty nectar. So enjoy that for a little while. I'll play some nice music, watch the birds. Very peaceful. They sure do like to fight over it sometimes. Guess I make the best juice in town. If you want to know what I put in my juice, how I make my juice, just put in always three to one. Some people do four to one. I'll do three to one and add a little bit extra. This time of year when there's a whole lot more and they're trying to get ready because soon enough they're going to be flying south. But three to one is what I usually do throughout the season. And what that means is three water to one sugar. For example, if I do cups, I do three cups of water to one cup of sugar. This time of year, I actually would double that up, which I just did today. And I did six, actually seven cups of water 
to two cups of sugar. I added a full extra cup of water. So I started out two cups of sugar, six cups of water, and another cup of water just to make it last a little bit longer. There's so many right now and they're really going crazy trying to fill up. So I'm doing the best I can to keep my little birdies happy. And as far as it having to be red, it doesn't have to be red. Yes, they do go to colors, but they mostly go to scent, the smell. They like the scent, the sweet, sweet smell. That's what really attracts them. So don't use like red food coloring. It's not healthy for them. It's not good for them. It can harm them. If you want to do red, buy it in the store, but it's not necessary. As you can see, I never, 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 ever have red juice. And I always get a ton of hummingbirds. Can't wait till next year. I'm going to get so many more. I hope you're enjoying this. This is what I do every evening when I do get a chance to just sit and relax some evenings, which I think I'm going to be doing a little bit more of these next couple weeks. I've been getting real tired and we're working really hard and think I need a break. So the best thing is to sit, watch 
my hummingbirds that I just love. There's usually anywhere between oh five to up to even nine that show up at one time. Next year I'm going to add more hummingbird feeders so I even get more hummingbirds. They're just so comical and relaxing and fun to watch for me. I enjoyed it. Hope you did too. If you did, please subscribe. Hit the bell notification. That's the top one. When you ring on that bell, that'll let you know every time I do upload a new video. It helps the channel. Helps my channel grow and lets me do a lot of different types of content on my channel. And I appreciate every single one of you. So thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Have a good evening. Sleep well tonight. Thank you. Bye.